Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, Jay Briggs here from PickDogs.com, bringing out my NBA Jam Session for November 21st, 2022. If you're looking for more of this great content, man, y'all know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, drop your like down in the comments as well. Y'all know I love going through, seeing who y'all like in the comments. But if you're looking for my best bets, the best that I'm placing today, as well as best bets from the top handicappers on the planet, check us out over at PickDogs.com. Click that premium picks tab, and that's where you'll find best bets from the best handicappers in the world. Link to my $15 NBA Jam Session plays in the description. That's my best bet in the NBA every night. We dropped yesterday's play after hitting two in a row. We look to bounce back tonight, start another little streak here tonight. Follow me on Twitter, at ParlayGuyJ, as you see right there. That's where I give y'all all updates, injury updates, um, updates on any of the games. If I change my mind, once I get more information, that's where I typically drop parlays. And that's where we could just conversate throughout the day. you know. So follow me on Twitter for all that great information. We got a nice size NBA card today. A um, few spots to attack, a few traps. We're going to attack it as we always do, though. So without further ado, man, let's get into this tonight's NBA action. In our first matchup of the night, man, we got the Atlanta Hawks on the road facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland laying two and a half, total 224 and a half. I'm going to lay the bucket with Cleveland. I know they're on a back-to-back. -back. They just played last night. They whooped up on Miami, a banged-up Miami team. Uh, here tonight, back at home, I think they can do it again. Um, I, I know I really don't like this Atlanta team on the road. Um, I think both of these teams are pretty dead even on uh, where I got them right now. But uh, Cleveland, I think they play their better basketball at home. The Hawks play their better basketball at home as well. I'm not overly in love with the Hawks on the road. Cleveland's starting to put some pieces back together after that five-game losing streak. They've won back-to-back -back games. I think they can make it a third here. Um, if you're not trying to lay the two and a half, I can see you just taking them on the money line. You got to lay a little juice, but uh, I think Cleveland wins this one. Uh, so give me Cleveland here in this first matchup of the night. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Orlando Magic on the road facing the Indiana Pacers. Pacers laying seven, total 230. We just seen this game the other night. Um, this game was in Orlando in a game where Orlando was winning majority of the game, really all of the game, and then the Pacers finally came back and stole it at the end. They won by a single point. Um, they failed to cover in that one. Indiana has won four straight games. They're playing some pretty good basketball right now. But for me in this one, I'm going to take Orlando again. I think they can cover in this matchup again. Like I said, we just seen this game two days ago in Orlando in a game where the Pacers won by one. I don't think the home court advantage in this one is worth six points for the Pacers. I just don't see that big of a swing. I definitely think the Magic can keep this one close like they did in their last one. And I wouldn't be shocked if the Magic won this one on the, on the outright tonight. So I'm going to take my seven in my back pocket with the uh, Orlando Magic. I'm, I know this Pacers team has been playing better basketball right now, but I'm not laying seven with them. So give me the magic here tonight. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the red-hot Boston Celtics on the road facing the Chicago Bulls. Boston laying six, total 227 and a half. Um, I know the Celtics team has been red-hot, man, won nine straight games. I know this Bulls team has looked like trash. They've lost their last four. But I'm going to take a shot with the Bulls tonight, plus the points. Nothing solid in for me in this information. It's just a lean. Um, but I lean towards the Bulls. I don't really have anything solid on it either. Uh, I just think this could be a classic flat spot if there is those. I think this could be one. Celtics won nine straight. Coming into this one on the road, kind of fat and happy. The Bulls in this one come in frustrated and needy. They've lost four straight, still trying to keep pace in, uh, in the East. I think they can keep this one pretty close. I, I don't know if they win it outright. I wouldn't go there. And uh, I'm I'm really not interested in fading the Celtics team right now. They're playing some really good basketball. Tatum is playing on another level right now. But at the same time, uh, Celtics are not going to win every single game. They're definitely not going to cover every game. So I just think this is a good spot here today with the Bulls. And I'm going to take a shot here with them, plus the six. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Portland Trail Blazers on the road facing the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks laying eight and a half, total two fourteen and a half. I'm gonna lay the points with the Bucks in this one. The Blazers, no Damian Lillard for them. 
he's going to be out for at least a week or so. Um, I told y'all in a few videos ago, um, I think the Blazers were due for a little losing streak. They've been playing some really good basketball here recently. No Lillard, though. I think they were just due for a little losing streak. The Bucks, we even seen them struggling here recently. The Bucks ripped off, what, their first 10 games of the season, started out 10-0. and Since then, they're, uh, they've only won two of their last five. But tonight, I just think this could be a great get-right spot for them. They lost their last game to the uh, – Philadelphia 76ers tonight at home. I think they bounced back and stomped down on this um, on this uh, Portland Trail Blazers team. Not really a good spot for them. They've lost their last two. I think they lose their third in a row. I'm going to take the Bucks here. I'm going to lay the points. Not my favorite game of the night, but I'm going to take the best player in the world, Giannis, and them to beat up on a banged-up Blazers team. So I would lay the points in this one. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Miami Heat on the road facing the Minnesota Timberwolves. Timberwolves laying seven and a half. I couldn't find a total for this one. It's still kind of early. Um, and this one for me, though, the only way to go is to lay the points with the Timberwolves. Timberwolves fresh off the do not bet list. We cashed on them in our in their last game. Miami on a back to back. Miami missing. They're top guys. No Jimmy Butler. It looks like Tyler Hero still out. Bam Adebayo still questionable. I can't get there with this Miami Heat team, all those guys out. They got took behind the shed yesterday by the Cleveland Cavaliers. I could really see the same thing happening here tonight. Yeah, I know me, though. I'm not overly impressed with this Timberwolves team, but no way I could get behind Miami tonight, and there's no total out. So only way for me to go in this one is to take the Timberwolves. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Golden State Warriors on the road facing the New Orleans Pelicans. Pelicans laying four and a half, total 232 and a half. I'm on the Pelicans in this one. I know Golden State got a win yesterday, their first road win of the season against the Houston Rockets. But listen to what I just said. They got their first road win of the season last night against the Houston Rockets. <laughs> the worst team in the NBA. And guess what? They didn't even cover the spread. I know Klay Thompson went absolutely berserk in that one. But Warriors on a back-to-back, -back, we know um, typically the Warriors sit guys on back to back So if I were y'all, I would get in this one and get in early. This line might grow. Pelicans at home typically are a bet-on situation. Uh, Zion Williamson is probable for this one. I think he plays with them or without them, though. I like the Pelicans in this one. I'm going to lay the points with the Pelicans in this one. Warriors, only one win on the road, and that was against the Rockets in their last game. They've been terrible god awful on the road i think that continues um one win on the road against the rockets doesn't impress me i have to see y'all continue to put to game put together games on the road a win here tonight against the pelicans will go a long way in that direction but i highly doubt that happens and i don't really see that at all pelicans are the play here give me them and i'm gonna lay the points In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the New York Knicks on the road facing the Oklahoma City Thunder Buddies. Thunder Buddies laying two and a half, total 226. I'm going to take those Thunder Buddies, and I'm going to lay the points, man. Uh, I wouldn't be mad at y'all if y'all just took them on the money line, though. You got to pay a little juice, but they get the win. Here in this one, uh, the Knicks, terrible on the road. We've seen them lose back-to-back -back games on the road. They were taken behind the shed last night by the Suns, 116-95. The game before that on the road, they lost to the Warriors 111-101. Um, they won their two previous games on the road against the Nuggets and the Jazz. I will say, though, the Nuggets in that one were missing a lot of guys due to illness. That Jazz win, though, on the road is a really, 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 really solid win. I think that was the Jazz' first loss on the road. Here tonight, though, I think they lose again. I'm not falling for it. Um, don't really trust this Knicks team on the road. Thunder Buddies... And like I said, they're on a long road trip at that. I think this is their fifth or fourth straight game on the road. The Thunder Buddies just came off of a long road trip back at home. I think their home fans excited to see these guys. I think they come out balling. Shai Gillis Alexander has been playing on another level right now. Give me the Thunder. I think they beat up on this um, bad Knicks team here in this matchup. In our last and final game of the night, we got the Utah Jazz on the road facing the Los Angeles Clippers. Clippers laying three and a half. Couldn't find a total at this current time of the night. For me in this one, I'm going to take the Jazz on the money line. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. 
I know the Clippers uh, have Kawhi Leonard back. He's um, kind of made an impact for them, I would say. Paul George is on the injury report for the Clippers. I don't know if he goes in this one uh, due to some left knee soreness. Mike Conley is out for the Jazz. Rudy Gay is still out for the Jazz, but I'm still on the Jazz. Uh, I test for me what I've seen this season. They're just a better team. Um, like I said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm still not a 100% believer in this Clippers team. And uh, I'm going to take the Jazz here on the money line. It's, you know, nothing solid in this one I'm, either. I just think the Jazz are a better team, plus money opportunity. We know the Clippers uh, have fallen flat on their face in these spots before. I think it's a good spot, man. I'm going to take the better team, in my opinion, and the Jazz on the money line tonight. But if you're looking for my best bets tonight, the bets that I'm placing, as well as best bets from the top handicappers in the world, check us out over at PickDogs.com. Click that premium picks tab, and that's where you'll find best bets from the best handicappers on the planet. Link to my $15 NBA Jam Session play is in the description. My best bet in the NBA every night. Let's continue to stack some units in the NBA. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Smash that like button for me. Drop your like down in the comments as well. Parlay coming later today. I'm going to holler at y'all on Twitter. Follow me there, man. That's where I release almost all extra information. Also, um, any updates on any of these games as they release. It's been your boy Jay Briggs, man. I'm going to holler at y'all on Twitter. I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. Let's make some money tonight. I'm out. Peace.